and guns drawn. Charlotte County deputies raided several massage parlors in Port Charlotte yesterday. A viewer caught it on camera as deputies entered one location along US 41. Four women were arrested. They may have been trafficked, but they're all charged with prostitution. As NBC2 Samantha Serban shows us, these raids didn't keep all locations closed. This is just one of the places Charlotte County deputies raided yesterday for potential sex trafficking. You can kind of see behind this picture here. This place is closed now, but two others we visited are already back in business. They're a massage parlor, but they're open all the time. Some people are getting more than they're expecting from massage parlors in Port Charlotte. Maybe it's special. The deputies call it prostitution. It's a concern. It's a, it's a widespread activity, particularly in Florida. You can see the raid in action here from a viewer's cell phone. Deputies waiting outside the spa, then rushing in. Wendy Vos Claire saw a similar scene near her store. I saw a few cars pull in, one being a van, and a bunch of policemen, including the SWAT team with drawn guns, come out. Investigators say this sting stemmed from numerous complaints. There isn't a happy ending here for these four ladies who are now facing serious charges and the FBI is looking into potential sex trafficking. Do you expect these women and or others on the premises to have been trafficking victims? Uh, it's unclear at this time. The FBI is looking into that. Uh, there have been several interviews with them concerning that. Uh, what the outcome of those interviews are, well, we don't know at this point. Two of the four businesses have already reopened. They're back. They were back within a half an hour, so that, that's whatever crazy. happened didn't s stop whatever. I went inside trying to speak with the owners, who apparently weren't around. But I did find this poster inside one of the businesses. It's to help people get out of human trafficking situations. Investigators say it's up to the health department to shut these places down. Well, it's my understanding that uh, the health department is the licensing agent, so it would be up to them to revoke their license or not. I'm local today in Port Charlotte. Samantha Serban, NBC2.